Hello, welcome to the Sugar Mama Radio Show with your host, Mathia Ford. Every week, we talk about pregnancy, motherhood, and gestational diabetes topics and answer your questions about all of the above. Email us at radio at sugarmamaradio.com with your questions and go to sugarmamaradio.com to sign up and get a free gift as well as notified when we have a new show. Now, what you've been waiting for, here's Mathia with the show. Hi there, this is Mathia Ford with Sugar Mama Radio, and this is episode two. Today I'm going to talk about what is gestational diabetes. So I know you kind of already know because you're searching for it, but I want to talk about what it is, what it does. If you didn't listen to the first episode, go back and listen. That's a little bit about my story and how I came to... Um, really want to serve this community, and I hope that you'll go to my website, gestationaldiabetesinfo.com forward slash call, and that will tell you about the weekly or bi-weekly calls that we're doing. What I'm going to do is you'll be able to call in and ask questions, and then those will become the um, next podcasts after the first set that's about all the different aspects of gestational diabetes. So you'll get up to date and you'll be able to ask questions if you like. Um, so today, again, I want to talk about what is gestational diabetes and how does it affect you? These are going to be fairly short. Um, so probably, you know, in the range of about 10 minutes, I just want you to get the information and, be able to move on and then move on to the calls. Again, gestationaldiabetesinfo.com forward slash call and you can get the um, information about when the next call is. Okay, so when a woman develops insulin resistance during pregnancy, it's referred to as gestational diabetes. What is insulin? Insulin is a hormone in your body that helps you to put energy into your cells. So think of insulin like a key and it opens up a cell and it allows glucose or sugar into your cells. So glucose is made from carbohydrate, which I'm going to talk about more in a future episode, but carbohydrates are things like bread and fruits and milk. And those are not things you should avoid. Those are things that you should um, watch your portions on. But takes that, it breaks, your body breaks those down, puts it into your blood, and then your insulin comes out and it helps to um, put that sugar into your body cells and that's what your body cells like to use for energy. That's what your brain exclusively uses for energy. So the problem that happens is that when you don't have enough insulin or your insulin isn't working properly, you build up the amount of blood sugar that you have. So the amount of blood sugar in your body, in your blood, so to speak, it gets higher and higher. And then that becomes a problem for your baby. So it acts as the same manner as when a person who is not pregnant has diabetes. It's still a diabetes. Um, in most cases, after the baby's born, the diabetes goes away and a woman's blood glu- glucose control, try to say that quickly, and insulin production return to normal. So um, what causes the insulin to not work quite right? It's usually, they believe, the placenta. The placenta that provides nourishment and keeps your baby alive as it grows inside your uterus also releases a hormone that blocks or inhibits a woman's insulin production from the pancreas. So your pancreas makes insulin and then it releases insulin as it's needed into your bloodstream when it detects a high level of blood sugar. But your pancreas can only do that. Your your pancreas is affected by the um, placenta hormone that is being released. It can also affect the way that your body uses the insulin that's produced. So you may not be producing enough and you may have difficulty using, think of it like if your key's bent or just not working quite right. So some of your keys are good and some of your keys are not to let the sugar into the cells. Um, That's the way insulin 
could be affected. When there's too much sugar, glucose, in a woman's system that is not being converted to energy and put into the cells, it causes you to have high blood sugar, and that condition is known as hyperglycemia. So your doctor may say you have hyperglycemia. Most likely they'll say you have high blood sugar, but they could say you have hyperglycemia. Every woman is routinely screened for gestational diabetes at about week 24 to 26 of her pregnancy. So it's normal for that screening to happen. The urine sample that the woman provides is checked for sugar, among other things. And if there's sugar in the urine, it's a red flag to the doctor to have the woman screened for gestational diabetes. So they're checking your um, urine probably with a dipstick and they're seeing if there's sugar in it. The doctor will send you to a medical lab for blood work, and if the blood work results come back as you have gestational diabetes, then you'll usually get a referral to a diabetes educator, either a nurse or registered dietitian or both, or a class, and a treatment and management plan are going to be put into action for you to follow for the remainder of your pregnancy. So for that, in that case, as long as your pregnancy is, then you will have Um, gestational diabetes, you'll need to follow a meal plan and watch what you're eating. Although gestational diabetes is a serious condition that affects both you and your developing baby, I want you to know that there is no cause for alarm. There are many things known about treating gestational diabetes in pregnancy, although not much is known about why it occurs. Um, They can treat it fairly easily with insulin, with exercise, with some other medications, and with portion and food meal planning. With good control of blood sugar levels, following a proper diet and regular exercise, a mom with gestational diabetes can go on to deliver a very healthy baby. And now I just want to take a minute and talk about how gestational diabetes affects your baby. So what it does is your baby's... um, Insulin is working fine and it is working well. And so the blood sugar is basically the extra when you have high amounts in your bloodstream. It goes over through the placenta into the baby's bloodstream. So the baby gets extra blood sugar. And so at that point, your baby starts using that blood sugar. And what happens to all of us when your insulin is very good at putting away sugar but it also is very good about converting that sugar into fat if we don't use it. So when we have excess calories, insulin will take that sugar and put it into um, body fat. So what happens is it will take and put weight on that baby. So the baby's going to take that insulin, use what it needs, and then put the extra onto the body as fat. So you end up with a large baby, and that's how you get large in gestational diabetes babies is because that insulin in their body is working fine. They get the extra blood sugar, they get the extra calories, and they um, end up weighing more. So that's how it affects your baby. And I want to also let you know, remind you, that I have a Udemy course coming out, and it's called Gestational Diet. You go to, to gestationaldiabetesinfo.com forward slash udemy u-d-e-m-y and that will take you to my courses on udemy when they are set up and i look forward to you um, listening to those there'll be um, coupon codes for those and available usually on the weekly call and also through the email so sign up for the email list at gestational diabetes info and sign up check out the Udemy courses, and go ahead and listen to the next call. Thank you.